through here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Boy, am I excited to do this one. I was, I've been looking for uh, this IPA for the last, uh, say, um, year. And just was at the LCBO about uh, an hour ago and I turned my head and went, oh. And I picked up two of them and I feel like I uh, should have picked up four of them. But I'm going to do a review on it. And, and it's from uh, Victoria, B.C. Victoria, B.C., guys. Um, from Driftwood Brewery, Craft Brewery in B.C. Fat Tug IPA. I can't believe I found it. I've heard so much about it. On Untapped, it's 3.9 uh, out of 5 with like 31,000 reviews or something like that. Um, and... 100 IBU. Yes! Can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, beautiful can. Fat Tug IPA. Beautiful, beautiful. Little description here. 7% uh, alcohol. Uh, product of Canada. Craft brewed in Victoria, BC. Um, there you go. They're, they're, they're rolled. Blah, blah, blah. Um, take a deep breath. <sighs> yeah. You got to do that before this 100 IBU. Sailor, so take a deep breath, sailor. It's di uh, it's difficult to fathom, but such monstrous hot bitterness can be foiled by ample malt buoyancy. This hot monster dwells in the deep, the tenders raised to hoppy nirvana. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get into this. So excited, guys. I may have to take a picture. If not, I'm going to take a picture of the next one. 7%. I've been looking so forward to this one for a year. Uh, ever since I've been, I watch uh, Super Duper on YouTube. If you know, he's just north of Toronto here in Ontario. Super Duper. Um, and he did uh, a couple reviews on Fat Tub and love his videos. If you do watch me sometime down the road, Super, thank you for inspiring me to find. Fat Tug IPA. Beautiful. This is like the Northeast or Northeast IPA or something like that. Or is it Northwest? One of those two. Totally different opera, uh, uh, you know, directions. So one of those two. I haven't had a beer yet today. I'm just excited to get into this. Beautiful. You can tell it's nice icy cold because I threw it in the freezer. Nice little head. Nice upside down snowfall okay passion fruit mango little bit of pine with grapefruit in it that's about it but that looks fantastic it's a little hazy but not hazy enough I'm really looking forward to having my first sip of um, driftwood brewery fat tug IPA cheers Oh. Okay, so if they say this is 100 IBU, I think the malt is diverting it down to about 75 to 80. Um, that's fantastic, and I think the malt is helping it uh, lower the IBU a little bit. So this is a smooth, fantastic drinking uh, IPA. Um, I heard so much about this. And I'm glad I picked up two. I should have picked up four. I'm thinking maybe the LCBO again tomorrow to pick up a couple more. Um, beautiful can. When I saw that, I went, oh. And then, you know, I think it moved when I saw the can, honestly, in the LCBO. Not going to lie. Beautiful. And it's smooth. You don't taste no 7% alcohol in this at all. This is... Uh, one hell of an IPA. It's uh, it's fantastic, and I wish we could get this more often. I can't believe I found it. And there's you know like hot right there, just to, you know fat tug. There's a little boat up there on top. Um, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Just excitement just pushes out the carbonation of the beer. Beautiful. Best before. So I don't know when this was brewed, and there's there's where I, get, I have a little difficulty with this. 
put on the brew date. Because you can say, oh, this beer is good for two years. This could be a year and a half old. I don't know. I don't know when it was brewed on. It just is, and, and I have a little bit of beer in here, so I'll try to do this where it doesn't spill. See that? Best before September 2021. September 8th. Maybe they're giving this a six month. I don't know. But come on, guys. I get it. Give me the brew on date, not best before date, please. Just asking. And if you guys out there in uh, BC are watching me, yeah, it's true. Let's get the brew on date. But back to the beer. Fat Tug is fantastic. That's an 8.2 right there. That's an 8.2. It's not my favorite IPA. Absolutely not. But for 7% alcohol, $3.75 for this. Yeah, i got to get a couple more just to have in the cupboard. Especially when it's best before September. Oh, hi. You're Hello. back already. Before, uh, what was I going to say now? You kind of screwed me up here. Um, yeah. I have no idea what I was going to say. Thanks. Anyways, there it is, guys. Oh, you want a rating? A2, right? You already got a rating. This is it. Be kind to your neighbors. Like, comment, and subscribe. Try something different, guys. Try something different. I can't express it enough. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, maybe tonight. We'll see. Because I got a little surprise I want to show you guys after. Like, comment, and subscribe. 8-2. Try something different. Have a good one. Cheers.